Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the cycling vlog series that no one ever asked for, but I do it anyway. This is the commute talks. So, what should we talk about today? Hmm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Why not we talk about uh, the bikes that I have purchased for myself so the first one on my list first bike I've ever purchased for myself in my adult life would be the leader trickstar fixed gear bike I got it second hand uh, from one of the guys from monster fixed uh, got it at a good deal really nice guy so anyway, before I continue this further, I try. I'm I'm gonna try to avoid talking about the bikes, but in more details. If you ever wanna hear any of the uh, any details from the bikes in the list, just let me know in the comments, lah. Then maybe maybe I will do a a bit more of a detailed video regarding the bike or bikes that you want to hear details of but to me uh, if you ask me for a review of a bike uh, my answer will always be oh it feels like a bicycle come on man I can't even tell the difference when using a 105 and an Altegra if the bike you set up properly doesn't really matter lah what components you have that's my take lah I'm a value for money guy I don't like to splurge well let's get on with the list again number two number two will be my dearest Bianchi D2 Super Pista in the all glorious Celeste colorway uh, I still keep this frame set I love the bike so much I don't have the heart to sell it off so I sold off the components but not the frame set I'm thinking about building the bike again but I'm still sitting it sitting on it sorry fun fact about the Super Pista I actually flew to Hong Kong to collect the frame set from uh, this bicycle shop called Bicycle Pit which was run by uh, this guy called Brian Kwan who at that time his crew had the, were the most baller fixed gear crew I've ever seen uh, in the world at that time they were riding like what the Olin DF3 uh, like uh, the Stabilio track bikes uh, a few carbon fiber bikes carbon fiber track bikes at that time uh, carbon fiber track bikes are like diamonds uh. I don't know lah I mean it's like wow, taking street cred to another level if you ride a carbon fiber fixed gear bike so yeah flew to Hong Kong to collect that frame set worth every single penny so next on the list uh, will be my first road bike. Uh, my first road bike is a second hand uh, bike. That will be the Focus Izalco in stealth black colorway. Uh, comes with like SRAM Force 10 speed if I remember correctly. So, yep, that's my third bicycle that I've purchased for myself mm, I sold it off to a good friend Charizal from Team 29er uh, I think he sold it off as well <laughs> to someone else it was a great bike uh. it was a really really light weight bike moving on the list oh pardon the creaking from my bike I think it's my seat post uh, I'm gonna check on it when I come back home 
from work later. Uh, so bear with me, yeah. So next on the list, moving on. Oh, will be. What's my next bikes, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's my. Oh, the most memorable road bike, and I cannot remember. Sheesh. Next on the list will be my D3 Phoenix uh, in the Lotto Lotto eh? Lotte Bellisol or Lotto Bellisol colorway. This bike, oh my god, I have so much memories with this bike. Went to so many places. I even raced, started racing with that bike, and probably did my last road race. On that bike as well. It's a really durable bike. It's comfortable. I feel like you can stretch the bike around and it's and it still stays awesome. That's the Ridley Phoenix. It's a bit heavy lah, but I don't mind the weight. It's not that heavy. I can even compare it with steel because modern steel bikes are actually not that heavy. But yeah, it's not heavy, it's like carbon fiber, you know. Next on the list to be... Ooh, another road bike. I sold the Ridley Phoenix off. Uh, and got myself the Specialized Ali Sprint Disc Brake Road Bike. That is the bike that I mentioned in my first episode of the uh, Commit Talks. I sold it off. That's an aluminium aluminium eh? aluminium alloy. Don't know man. <laughs> Frames. That was the first time I experienced uh, hydraulic disc brakes. And here come the bus marks. So yep, after the specialized Ali Sprint, uh, I got myself a mountain bike. And that mountain bike is the Vitus Escarp. There's a lot of uh, categories in the mountain bike range so what i have is a trail mountain bike it's a 27.5 version of the s cup uh, got it direct from crc at a really great price and i really feel that the bike is way more capable than people think For now, I'm loving the bike. It has really pushed me a lot in mountain biking. I never knew <laughs> I can do a lot of things on a bike. The, the last on the list is actually that bike, the Vitus Escarp 37.5. Uh, well, as you know, lah, the list will go on and on. N plus one for life, guys. So yeah, that's the list of bikes that I have purchased for myself. Uh, like I said, I do not wish to talk into much details about the bikes on the list. Because if I do, it's going to be a really lengthy video. My number one favorite bike on the list. In terms of aesthetics, la, <laughs> will definitely and always be the Bianchi D2 Super Pista, hands down. Most memories that I have will be on the Ridley Phoenix. <laughs> well, okay then. I guess that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time bye bye